A lot of people asking me these days, every person I speak to, he says, waiting for Mashiach, waiting for Mashiach. Everybody is waiting for Mashiach. So, I want to give you a chidush that came to my mind. You know that the Mashiach and the Geula, the redemption of Am Israel, is depend according to a few sources on Shabbat. The Gemara says in two places, Ilmale Bnei Israel Shomrim Shte Shabbatot Miyad Nigalim. If Am Israel will keep two Shabbats, there will be a redemption. Geulah, Mashiach will come. And there's a lot of questions about this, uh, about this statement. First of all, why Shabbat? Why don't the Gemara say, Ilmale, all Am Israel put filling two times? Niad Nigalim, they will have a redemption. Why don't the Gemara say, Ilmale, Am Israel, Mevachim, Birkat Amazon? Miyad Nigalim. Why Shabbat? What's so special about Shabbat? This is the first question. Second question is what I quote now. What I quoted now, it's the Gemara. Shimdumani Maseret Sanedri. Aval, there is also Midrash and Tikune Zohar that say almost the same thing, but a little bit more lenient. They say, Ilmale Israel Shomrim Shabbat Achat. One Shabbat. Miyad Nigani. So we have a Geula. So the question that Mefarshim ask, and obviously we have to ask the same question, is okay, so decide. Two Shabbatot we need to, to keep, or one Shabbat is enough? <coughs> so one perush that I heard is Behemet. It's two Shabbatot, and it's also only one Shabbat. Elu ve'elu divrei Elohim chayim. How does it work together? Yom Kippur is a day that the Torah called it Shabbat Shabbaton. The Torah called clearly Yom Kippur as Shabbat. But sometimes we have Yom Kippur that falls on Shabbat. So then we have two Shabbats. One the Shabbat. And the second is Yom Kippur. It's also Shabbat. So they say that this is what the Gemara means. In Malay Israel, Meshamrim, Shte Shabbatot, if they will keep two Shabbatot, Behemet, really it's only one Shabbat, like Tikkun Ezor and Midrash. But it's a one Shabbat that it's considered as two Shabbatot. Beautiful Chidush. So people ask me also in this time, after all what happened in Eretz Israel, it's still happening. Hashem Yishmer, Yishmur, Kol Chayel Tzvah Ganal Yisrael, Kol Atoshavim Yiratzon. Today it's a happy day. We had a one, one soldier that came back. One? One soldier that came back. They released him. From the Chatofim. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Yaakov brought some food and we had music here before the fila. Because we have to be happy for that. Iratzon, that everybody will come back. Aval, we have a lot of people ask me, so, but how come it happened? Everything started on Shabbat. Why Shabbat? The same question was in Melchem at Yom Kippur. Why Yom Kippur? And another thing is, <coughs> we see clearly from this. All what's happening, there's so many stories, so many miracles that happened to the people that were safe. And everybody say something about Shabbat. There was one girl that said when the Mechablim came, when those guys came to kill, she was hiding in her room with her two children. And she said to HaKadosh Baruch Ribbono Shalom, I'm accepting myself to keep Shabbat from now on. And they skipped her house. There's another... Two girls that they went to seminar 
Arachim few weeks before and they accepted Shabbat on themselves. They were in that party and then they decided we can't keep Shabbat in this party. So they went to Be'er Sheva only for Shabbat and they were saved. There's a lot of stories. Everything is around Shabbat. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat. As, as, and a lot of people, Mamash, accepted on themselves after this war started Shabbat. So I thought to myself, why Shabbat? So this is my idea. This is what I think. I checked the calendar. And next year, guess what? It's a Shabbat that falls on Yom Kippur. Who won't? I understand. Who falls on Yom Kippur? <clears throat> yeah. So, Kippur that falls on Yom Shabbat. Amen. Shabbat Shabbaton. So I think, Akadosh Baruch Hu is awaking us a year before. For strengthening the Shabbat, the Hazeket Shabbat, to keep more people to keep Shabbat and those who already keep Shabbat to keep it better, to learn the halachot of Shabbat, to gather all together in Bet Knesset in Shabbat, and we have a whole year until next Bezrat Hashem Yom Kippur, that there it's going to be our test. Meshamrim shte Shabbatot, you're going to keep that Yom Kippur that is frozen Shabbat, which is the Shabbatot. Miad nigalim, miad. What's miad? Achamim say that the Geulah will be <coughs> starting on Sukkot. What comes Miyad after Yom Kippur? Sukkot. Miyad Nigalim. That's what it means. As I think this is a small, small chidush that came up to my mind. Because Bemet, I see too many people talking about Shabbat, Shabbat. All the Rabbanim speak about Shabbat and Shabbat. And I don't think it's just... <coughs> A coincidence, there's no coincidence. So come right now, Mashiach, like you said, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hashem, Bezat Hashem, why do I say that? Why? Why do I say that, Sadiqim Shani? Bemet, the Gemara say, there's two ways of Tshuva. There's two ways of Geula, Mechila. One, one way of Geula is Beita, it's on time. One way of Geula is Achishen. Be'emet, if Am Yisrael make tshuva, you can bring Mashiach in a minute. Aval, aval, we are people that like to prepare. We have a lot of brothers and sisters that they are still not in the way of Judaism. You know why Kadosh Baruch Hu delayed the Mashiach so much? You know, I saw in Chesed Avram, Rabbi Avram Azulah, he said that according to all prophecies and all Kabbalistic uh, calculations, on, on Tafshin Samech, which is according to the English calendar 2000, already needed to be Tchet Ametim. That's what he says. Hashem delayed the Geulah so much, and I had that question, why you delay it so much? And I think... The, there's only one answer to that. Is that there's still a lot of souls, Jewish souls, that are not there. If the Mashiach would come at 2000, a lot of us were not in the place where we needed to be. So Kadosh Baruch is delaying it. So we need to do our job. Spread Judaism. Spread Torah. Do Kirub. Invite people for Shabbat. Send more Torah lessons and Shiurim. And Be'ezrat Hashem, more people will come back to Judaism, and maybe we'll get the, the Mashiach before Yom Kippur. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen.